Why am I here? Hmm. Yeah, where do we start? Cornell was actually the only program I applied to. So when I got the call from the director saying I was accepted, I was really nervous, but so excited to start. And now I'm doing Expanded Practices Studio, which is really about these larger global issues with urban growth and social class disparity and sustainability. You're looking at these, these larger issues and how they affect the growth of cities. A very important goal of the Expanded Practices Studio is to challenge students to think about architecture not as the design of buildings, but really to consider the effects that architecture can trigger the experiences that it can provide, so that they don't concentrate so much on the figure and the form of things, but really they concentrate in creating a certain experience. So the problems that we are facing today as a society in the built environment are extremely complex. And uh, we know that we cannot approach those problems from a traditional perspective. We need to come up with inventive ways to deal with these issues. The whole class just started diving into articles and readings and pictures and maps, lots and lots of maps, looking at photos, street views, everything, reading books from artists, uh, I think it's incredibly important to see a place from how the people who live there see it, but also how people from the outside recognize this place. When you're here trying to understand a site, it's extremely difficult because this place is on the other side of the world. There's only so much you can learn from, from diving into these documents. One of the most important components of the Expanded Practices Studio is the field trip. What they hear from people, what they experience on the street, is completely different from the research that they had done before. This year we decided to go to Colombia to learn from cities like Bogota and Medellin and to find inspiration in the way people, regular people, come up with solutions that can transform urban environments. Coming back from the trip now, I feel like this is a city that I want to do some work to improve it. So when you go to these places, you often come back and you have to throw out your ideas entirely, your, your initial research, because you've got this nuanced or, or kind of profound reframing of the issue altogether. Elements to consider would be drought, fires, urban growth, economics, mudslides, tourism, security. Architects have a tendency to start with this 10,000 foot view of a problem, like they're looking at a, a master plan. But really this studio has been about starting from the ground up and seeing the, the conditions and then working from there to solve the problem. This becomes your, your second home because you spend more time here than you do anywhere else. It's really an active space. There's people here all the time. The lights are always on in the studio.